What's up guys, Sick Crazy here, and today I wanted to talk about the stress that's building up on, on me. That's just stuff I need to get off my chest, and I'm not, I'm not trying to single anybody out in this video. I'm going to be addressing issues with my competitive team that I want everybody to see. I want all, of the, all the members of my competitive team to be able to see this video and hear me, and if they, that, that way, if they don't understand what I'm saying, they can try to listen to me elaborate on it a little bit. So, I'm the captain of the competitive team, which is hard enough to be. Because everybody hates you when you give constructive criticism. Today we were playing a best of five to an 0 and 11 team. We're a 1 and 2 team on UMG. And we lost 3 0. And all the maps were very close. We lost the capture the flag. Or we lost the capture the flag like 5 to 4 or something like that. Then we got crushed in the surge like 6 2. Then we lost the uplink game 8 to 7. And we choked a 5 point lead. And, um,. The thing that bothers me is, like, after the game, and, I, like I said, I'm not singling anybody out, but after the game, Phil, Shadows, didn't talk at all during the game. only thing he said was, oh, because I dodged, because I, myself, dodged a person and dunked, went in and dunked the ball up on the uplink, and then died right after he was, like, screaming, oh. That's the only thing he said, like, all game. And... After the game, he had so much to say. Well, if you have, if you see something wrong, then point it out during the game. You and don't remain silent. Call out, just like even if you don't know the call outs, just be like, okay, like one shot middle map. I was doing it all game. I wish I still had the footage for you guys, and it just bothers me that like people have so, have nothing to say during the game and so much to say afterwards. And then twist and shadows and started going at each other. Then. Then Thunder or Maniac, Maniacal, whatever his name is, hopped on Twist's back, and they they all they, those two were arguing with Phil. Then I finally stepped in and, st and defended Phil. I was like, all right, well Phil had a point with what he was saying. Yes, you should have talked a little bit more during the map, Phil. But that's not what caused us to lose, really. What caused us to lose was that the Slayers weren't staying up. Me and Ryan weren't staying up, and we. The person would have the ball and would be running and would be left alone to try to get that ball in there with four of the people spawning on them and the Slayers weren't there to help. And that's not anything that OBJ players did wrong. And the two OBJ, one OBJ player and one Slayer is going at the, the OBJ player who probably tried the hardest out of all of us but was just so silent because he was concentrated. And he's they're going at him like ganging up on him so i finally just hopped in and i said all right enough like let me say what i want to say so i basically told them i said the slayers weren't staying up me and ryan are the are one of the reasons we lost the other reason is that me and ryan also had all the caps but you can't di discredit the obj players because what would happen is like i said we would be running they would be running the ball we would die they would die. They would die like 75 percent, 50 to 75% of the way, and then me and Ryan would run it the rest of the way. They're, that's fine if that happens. It, caps isn't what matters. It's just how far they can get it. If if someone, if an OBJ player finishes with zero caps, but runs the ball 90% of, of the way across the map, drops it right below because he missed the shot or something. That's fine. I wish there was a stat to show how much somebody touched the ball. Because I swear, Phil had the most touches of that ball. I had the least, but I had the most caps. I would touch it for like five seconds every time. I, I only held the ball for like 20 seconds, and I had four uplinks. Like, come on. Don't blame the OBJ players. You got to stay up, and you, you, we got to slay around the OBJs. Got to let them do their work. That's what I'm trying to say. And like, they don't understand that. Like, they just think it's all, all one person. One person doesn't make a team. One person doesn't destroy a team. The reason we lost was because, like I said, the Slayers weren't slaying. Phil only finished with 10 kills. However, the other Slayers finished, or the three of us Slayers finished with like, a combined, like, 70 kills or something like that. I had 28. Uh, Twist had, like, 22. And I think, <coughs> excuse me. Maniacal had 20, so I think that is 70, and, like, that's enough slang, but if you add up the deaths, we're, we we're, as a team, we're negative. I had 34 deaths, because I, I did jump off the map a lot with the ball. Like, I would jump off with it if I couldn't, like, run it out, so, I mean, that's, that's where most of my deaths came from. I'm not making an excuse for my deaths, 
I would have gone positive, but still, I had 20-something deaths by a gun. I mean, there's nothing really that... I mean, there's more that I could have done, more that could have been done. And if I had stayed up, I w we would have won. And if, sh if Maniacal had stayed up, we would have won. If Twist had stayed up, we would have won. It's not all, like everybody's just blaming it on putting it all right on shadows because he's the main OVJ player. So of course it's gonna be his fault that we lose. Like it's not his fault. Give him some credit for what he does get done. Same thing with Twist. Give him some credit for what he does get done. Twist is an OBJ player and dropping twenty something kills, more kills than my second Slayer. And that's why we switched their roles a little bit. We gave um, Maniacal the, the OBJ Slayer role and. Twist the Slayer role. So I'm the main Slayer, and then Twist is like a support Slayer, and then Maniacal is a support OBJ, and then Shadows is the main OBJ. Now, they just gotta learn to play the role. It's only our second day as a team. We kinda gotta get the chemistry together. We gotta get rolling. We gotta get working on the things. We gotta have people who are more dedicated with their time, because there's no reason today, no offense, Nate. There's no reason today that we should have been 12 minutes late to starting that match. We were all beat tired, and that's probably another reason that contributed to our our loss. We could have grinded all the rest of the day, and we only got in one series. So, like, what I'm saying is, all the we can't just pile it on one guy. There's a bunch of different things that caused us to lose, and that's what no one understands. It's not just one guy, it's all of us. We lose as a team, we win as a team. No one gets credit if we win. I, if I finish 17-1 and one in Search and Destroy, and my teammates all have donuts, I don't get the credit for the win. We won as a team, because you know what? They called out. I don't care. I'll, I'll give them credit for what they get done. That's what you gotta do. Give them credit for what they get done. I've always said that deaths don't matter to me as long as you get the call out out. And I still stand by that. That's why I have so much respect as a captain for former teammates. Because I'm very easygoing on my teammates, except in game where I'll, I'll raise my voice at them and I'm not afraid to. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below. Hopefully, my teammates who see this don't get offended and, and just understand what I'm trying to say and not single anybody out. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.